welcome to 34 weeks pregnancy video. I'm third trimester, I'm 34 weeks. <sighs> it's, um, um, these are the things that I've learned about pregnancy. It's definitely complicated, it's complex, it's, it's not, um, I know some people say it's very natural. It, it is natural, but it's, it hurts, it's hard to walk, it's hard to breathe. Um, I'm in pain. Um, the other day I had to pee 10 times in 10 minutes. Um, sorry for too much information. Uh, here's my belly. It's big. Um, when I walk on the street, I get a lot of comments from people like, you must be carrying twins, you're huge, damn. Uh, you know, you, you carry a ball, like, it's, I, I don't know, I, I don't feel very comfortable with that, but it's okay, you know. Um, I'm thinking about, the baby moves a lot, I had an ultrasound today, and the baby is in breech position, that means the head is right here, and the butt is right where my bladder is. Um, so th I have another ultrasound in two weeks to see hopefully the baby moves in the right position. If it doesn't, then I would have to have C-section and that's a surgery. Yeah, otherwise, the baby looks healthy. Uh, I thought about how complex and I applaud every woman that is pregnant uh, with a baby and I take my head off. I didn't know this was, it, it's difficult, it's not easy. and. It's not easy to stand when you take a subway. I'm thankful for every person that offers me a seat. I'm thankful when people are kind because sometimes I walk very slowly. Um, uh, the other day in the supermarket, this woman, uh, she let me go ahead of line. She's like, you know, you go first. You don't have to stand on a long line. That was very nice. I'm thankful for that. It's just like, I'm learning a lot of things and I think I'm very appreciative of pregnant women and how complex and the life is and, and, and nine months is a long time. Sometimes I'm tired of being pregnant and sometimes I feel ashamed of it because it's supposed to be this amazing, beautiful, natural experience and it's painful, it's, it's hard, uh, I'm out of energy. And I thought about how life is very complex in a way, and uh, I'm reading a book. I'm actually doing an audiobook of Bill Bryson, short history of every of nearly everything. I love this book. I listened to it on YouTube, and uh, he said that 80% of life belongs to the very small. So in other words, if we take all life that exists on Earth. 80% belongs, 80% of life are microbes and only 20% everything else. And viruses, for example, virus has only seven to nine genes, but influenza, its virus killed in 1918 to 1919. It killed from 50 to 100 million people. And where we are as people, we have three billion genes and virus has only seven to nine and yet it survives it flourishes microbes lives, live everywhere they they live on nuclear waste they can eat plutonium they live on acid that is like dangerous to every every other life and it made me feel like wow so they survive no matter what and they just keep going and we are in a way we're very fragile um and we are very complex and we have three billion genes, but we are very fragile. Like, you know, we can, we need so much. We, we can't survive on nuclear waste. We need air, we need water, we need uh, shelter, we need money just to survive. We need to be able to have resources. We need companionship. We need love. We need family. We need so many things just to feel balanced and to feel okay. And, uh, if I was a bacteria, life would be very simple and I would just survive everything. And that's, 
uh, in fact, bacteria does survive. You know, the, the antibiotics that we make, that we have today, is just, you know, the bacteria can survive that, and the flu viruses and bacteria flourish. Um, that's the short video. Um, then I was talking to my friend about depression and uh, research shows that very, very smart people, the more smarter there's a correlation between depression and how smart you are. In other words, if, you, if you're a genius, if you're very smart, you're more depressed. And uh, of course I want my daughter to be happy and never be depressed. And uh, I'm just wondering how, what should I teach her? Um, you know, at the same time, I want to be very honest with her and very real about life. And uh, thanks for watching.